it was a logical thing for us to do, and also it's a logical thing also for Microsoft with their partnership of Microsoft. If you look what what we did, it was a number of things coming together. First, I think our company has been on a diversification journey. I think every time you and I talk, we kind of provide updates about how we enter new industries. It was automotive, now it's PCs. So we are on a journey to, diver to diversify and, and make sure our technology is now expanding to other markets. The second data point is PCs are fundamentally changing because of two drivers. One driver is mobile PC conversions. We use our mobile devices, they're inseparable devices, and a lot of the technology is influencing what do we expect our PCs. We expect to be connected, we expect long battery life, we expect them to be thin and light. And that is also coming at a time that the Windows is transforming to AI with Copilot Plus PCs. When you put all of those three ingredients together, that's where my, Microsoft and Qualcomm join forces for us to bring Snapdragon to PCs and what the X series D did, it restored the performance leadership now to the Windows ecosystem. Some of the fastest laptops in the world are now running Windows Copilot uh, plus PCs with Snapdragon X Elite. And talk to me about that product roadmap in the PC space then, Christiana. You, you've been very quick and aggressive in launching uh, these new processors. This uh, latest one, the Core 8, looking at those PCs as low as $700. Um, can we expect this year or, or, or when can we expect the next product that perhaps looks to hit more of a mass market kind of price point? Yes, look, I, I'm going to walk you through the sequence. Like the first thing we did with, uh, with X Elite when Copilot Plus was announced was our job was to restore the performance leadership back to the Windows ecosystem, have the performance leader. Then after that, we announced the X Plus. Today's announcement, it's about now bringing AI PCs to mainstream. Just think about it. A typical laptop that an enterprise or a commercial customer buy is in the $900 range and it's not an AI PC. Now you can have not only 900, but also 800 or even $700 range and you get a, a performance leader with an AI uh, processing engine for AI PC with Copilot Plus. So we see that's a great opportunity to expand your desktop market and bring scale. Next, we're gonna see mini desktops uh, from Qualcomm as well, and we're going to continue to add products to the roadmap, eventually to have the full range of uh, PC products so we can participate in the total addressable market in this space.